Hey guys, Shane Simmons here, and I'm going to do a little video from Coretta, West Virginia, but, but first, uh, I, did, I did an intro to it yesterday, that's why I'm sitting at home here, but it got screwed up because I got the first COVID vaccine, and I just really didn't feel like it came across as myself. I'll let you see right here, actually. Hey guys and gals, I just got my first uh, vaccine shot, so you've, you know, the obligatory thing, but I wanted to say a little bit about it too, because I know there's a lot of misinformation and people are, uh, I don't know, scared for no reason, but... You know, it hurt for just a minute. I just now come out. It's been about 10 minutes, and um, you know, I felt a little bit of pain. Oh, brown rosy, my rose of Alabama, the sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. But no real, but it, uh, no real complications. I feel you know a little tingling in my arm, maybe, and then maybe some uh, paw, paw. Is that you, Pa? Pa? I got the gold right here, Pa. The gold me and Josie robbed from the bank. Pa? Anyway, you guys should just go ahead and get this thing and get it over with because it's really nothing to it. It's very slight pain and... and uh... So, as you can see, that probably wasn't the best intro I've ever had, just being honest. Not that this one is either, but at least I'm a little bit more coherent. Uh, so, Coretta, let's get into that. It's McDowell County, and it's in between Colwood and War on Route 16. So, Coretta is kind of the sister city to Colwood in a lot of ways. It was also owned by George Lafayette Carter. And the name, when I first hold the, heard the name Coretta, I just assumed maybe it was some kind of Italian coal baron or something. But obviously, when you assume, you know what happens. Well, I don't have to tell you because uh, I don't cuss on here for one thing, but for another bad things happen let's just put it that way but Coretta and it's not La Coretta like the Mexican restaurant down the road here either so Coretta was actually where George Lafayette Carter used part of his last name and his wife's first name and just flip-flopped them so his wife's name was Etta Carter he used the car from Carter and Etta and there we go Coretta so that's how the name Coretta came about I thought that's very interesting I did not know that till very very recently so the post office in Credit opened up in 1905. The school opened up in 1907. And the new school was built in 1925, and that's probably the one you'll be seeing here very shortly. And there's still one great thing about Credit too is that the original company store is still standing. And it was built circa 1912-ish, but it's still in pretty good shape considering. I had to drive through the town pretty quick, so you don't really get to see and stop and go into too much detail unfortunately because I had a lot of stops to make that day but it's still worth seeing that and the old company stores church so so credit was originally owned by the Virginia Pocahontas Coal Company and it was bought by the Carter Coal Company and then later Consol so it had a pretty long life and in 1948 Coretta was operated by Olga which is made more famous very recently by Homer Hickam of course the author of the Rocket Boys, and also the film October Sky that was inspired by the Rocket Boys. So Coretta had a pretty good long life. In 1982, Olga ceased operations there. And since then, it's kind of had fits and starts of people running mines out of there, but nothing of any major acclaim. And they, at one time, they had one of the most majestic, beautiful, if you can call it that, tipples and prep plants and all that to, to um, take photographs of that you'll ever see. But unfortunately, 2015, that was demolished and replaced with a much newer facility, which is nice, I'm sure, for the people who worked at the mines at that time, but it's kind of sad to see the old equipment go by because it really captured that era. So, unfortunately, that is no longer well, around. One time they also had a little bit over 200 houses in there, so they kind of give you an idea of what it was like back in its heyday. And there's still a lot of these homes are occupied. So, relative to a lot of other coal towns, Coretta still has a little bit going on for it. So, without further ado, here he is, Coretta, West Virginia. Thanks. Well, we're in Coretta, West Virginia, and it is in McDowell County, and you'll see the Telltale Coal Camp Houses. So Coretta was a twin city, sister city to Colwood, as George Lafayette Carter had both towns built. He owned the mines that operated in both these towns, so they would be built in a similar fashion. 
And as you can see, Credit still has quite a few houses down through here as well. And here's a nice little church up here to the straightly directly in front of us. Cut on down Coretta Road. If you keep going straight there, I'd be back in war. This, but I want you to see to well, as soon as I can turn around, there's a car here. I'll, I'll show you the school. I hate to jump to conclusions, but I would think the school also used the Coretta name. I don't remember hearing of a credit school, but that doesn't mean it didn't exist. Right? Because, unfortunately, I am not the be-all, end-all authority on all these things. I was hoping there would be a sign-up. It says, Welcome to Big Creek People in Action, but I don't this really isn't Big Creek. Hopefully, as often is the case, someone will set me straight in the comments. I'm counting on you. There's a little amphitheater in front of us. It says timber. I'm not sure what that's referencing, but... Let's see if I can get out this way. Well, I can. It ain't gonna be easy, though. Oh! Yeah. That might cost me another car. Well, after assessing the damage, I'm proud to say my old Corolla shook off the punch there. And Next time, I'm gonna, I keep thinking I'm in a Jeep or something. I forgot I got a car for sex appeal, not utility, so hopefully. I was afraid I was gonna be asking for a love offering. Raise me money for a new car, but thankfully, I won't have to do that. But here's some more of Coretta. Let's take you just a little bit more of this. Just to say you've seen it. And up here to the left is the road that takes you to the old mine. I'm not going to go up there. It's a dead end. I don't know what's up there right now. I'm not too interested in finding out at this point. See the railroad used to go through there and kind of it stops now, but this was a look at Coretta, and that is a look at the sidewalk that almost took out my little Corolla, but we live to drive another day. Thank God. So I hope you enjoyed that look at Coretta, and I'm getting so close to Colwood I can smell it. So another baby video, maybe the next video, I'm not sure. I'm trying to get these things in order of what makes sense and, and what I can edit fast enough to get out. So. Hopefully we'll get to take a look at the home of the Rocket Boys very shortly, but Coretta is a very close substitute, so hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys on down the road. Thank you for all my, especially the patrons and the sponsors and donors, because this was a trip that could never have happened if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you so much. I always want to give you a shout out, and especially when I know I used money from those accounts to pay for the trip, so yeah, I thank you, and the people who enjoy these videos, thank you, and I will see you guys on down the road. Thanks.